Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 survival roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul, who is currently in the Corvega plant. And we've cleared out this room and taken a nap, and we've woken up overtired. Enough tired to actually make us have one less strength, which is, in fact, a lot. So we're getting hurt from being over encumbered now, too. So we're going to try to take three hour nap to see if that's enough to push our. We awake still tired. Okay, so we been able to wake up, push back that, uh, you know, extra sleepiness that was there, so that's nice. Able to still kind of keep our head up, fight off the nodding. I mean, you can only, actually, you can only sleep three hours in a sleeping bag. That's right, you can sleep like up to six on a mattress. Okay, well, we got three hours, and our character is now just slightly tired, so I think that's okay. There's a lot of general, like, metal stuff here. More sleeping area. These That's maybe why these raiders are so unhappy. So they're just sleeping on the floor and they only get six hours at a time. Also, those are straw pillows. Straw is uh, not exactly a down feathery pillow. So, but it'd be better than nothing, of course. But still, not as nice. Okay, there's a little nook back here that doesn't do anything. That's interesting. Climb up, see if there's anything cool. Up, up, up. Ah! Now nah, doesn't seem to be able to allow me up. Oh, well, at least I can... Go check out these nooks and crannies a little bit. Okay, so we took our nap, and uh, we've cleared out a lot of the area, so we're we're doing very well safety-wise. I mean, it's important to keep in mind where the other location's gonna be, and the fact that we're gonna go up against the, uh, the boss soon. One thing that's bothering me a bit is we have yet to find the fusion core that w is probably some here, some here, somewhere around here. And uh, if we haven't yet found the fusion core, it's like, well, that's that's the reason why we're here. It's for a fusion core. And that's that's important to me. Already went that way. Came from that way. We don't need any more bottles, actually, unless we find a chem... Ooh, actually. Yeah. Oh, too much to run. Dang it. Dropping some shotgun shells. We actually don't need that many. Uh, but potentially, if we find a chemistry spot... That will be very nice, because that's Molotovs right there, so I, uh, I'd appreciate that. Some more empty milk bottles. We have plenty of purified water, so I'm not too worried about picking up any more of those, really. And uh, on our way to Raider Jared, I'm really curious how this is going to go, because we're not going to be able to snipe from afar, really. We can perhaps get the Protectron on our side. Okay, so we got the Protectron going. Activate the unit. Now, I've been told that if you commit a crime while you activate this... Dude, actually, um, he starts attacking you, too? Has been so, it's... Oh, God! Woo! Well, we have a Molotov of ourselves now. Up oh, there's Raider Jared up there again. Okay, um, Raider Scum. Protectron is doing okay. That guy die? No, he just fell on his face. Oh! Hey! We did it! <laughs> Does that really kill all the raiders? Oh, God! Morning. Dangerous fugitive is on the loose. You're still green to me. So, I I'm looking for where the dangerous fugitive is, because we're still in caution. There we go, there's still a raider somewhere. Alright, we can now turn the Protectron back off, and it shouldn't be shooting at us, and we'll be extra safe. Wow! That worked incredibly well. Shut him down. Thanks, Protectron. All right, a second. Is the fusion core I'm looking for in here? What is this? Is, can I can I hit this? I can't hit this. Oh, bummer. Shutting down unit. Um. I cannot actually walk through this area because this switch is down and in the way. You can hear the uh, the turret behind me. There it is. Getting all excited to shoot me. Got it. That worked awesome. Man, having a robot on your side and then having everything explode and light on fire. Really helpful in killing an entire room of raiders. I'm always a little nervous whenever I walk past these. And uh, just a lot more so 
in survival. We have some beds here so we can drop a save, which is going to be nice. I'm happy to see that. It's Corvega safe key. I'm going to try opening up that thing downstairs again and see if that can help out. So Jared's terminal has some interesting lore on it. We're not necessarily going to do that right now because we've actually already done it a couple times before. Ooh, got some Nuka-Cola. So I just slept for five hours and more raiders showed up. Nothing there now. I, uh, I didn't realize that, that more raiders would be coming out of the woodwork, I guess. I'm kind of surprised to see that. I don't know. Jumping in shadows. Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. Now don't start talking crazy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I found him. Oh, crap. That light kind of gave me away, didn't it? I can't see where the light's shining from, though. Oh. Got it. <laughs> oh, found you. You know, it's not exactly good game design when I get shot and that's how I locate where my enemies are. Not exactly the way to do. I'm, I'm Should I go for like a .308 pistol? Sometimes I see that and I debate on it because it's, you know, that extra damage could be really cool for sneak attack criticals. I mean, oh my god, how'd you get up here? Yeah, no, seriously, like, how did you get up here? And I like the fact that you died so quickly, that's pretty cool. Did he... Yeah, how do you get up here? Is there a, a place to jump? Did he climb up something and jump down? I have no idea. Did he run behind us somehow? Oh, yeah, he might have run this way. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Because you can't... Yeah, that's... Okay, I probably just didn't notice him getting up here. That's my expectation. All right, so Cavega Plant is completed. Let's. Uh, we're going to go check the safe downstairs real quick before we get out of here. And, uh, oh, first we're going to take it in style, of course, though. Up, up, up! Oh darn it! I love jumping on top of that. Nope, this is actually still locked, so it's not the particular safe that I was I expected. You know, I recall this happening to me the last time I played this, where I just couldn't figure out where that safe was or how that key worked with it, and I think it was actually related to somebody back in a uh, Concord, but I just forgot like where it's located and how to get to it, and a lot of other things required for it. Still not used to not getting radiation from some of these things. I just naturally avoided that and then realized, I was like, oh yeah, that's that's totally safe. All right, let's uh, pop this light and go on outside since we've completed this. Another baseball bat just to rub in the fact that now uh, we actually have a bladed saw thing instead, which truly is better, so I'm not unhappy about that or anything. Can I walk through some of these tubings? That'd be kind of fun. Anyway, we are out through this door, we're back in Corvega, and I think actually the best thing to do at this moment would be to head back to, not necessarily Blake and all those guys, or Blake Aberthy or the um, Minutemen going situation, because it's, it's going to be a little bit of a walk there, but we are close enough to our other location that we could probably drop some stuff off. I mean, because if we were going to go to the, um, the Call to Arms, it's in the right direction, but that's going to be far enough away that we're not really going to have much we can do. You know what? I've changed my mind. And the reason I've changed my mind is because we have that one spot that we're just loading things into. Well, let's just keep doing that. We'll just keep filling that particular box with stuff. Plus, there's some armor in that box that we can grab and see if it's any useful anymore. Oh, um, final proof that there's no radiation. No radiation. Able to swim in water with nothing happening. Perfect. I did actually... That was another thing from the episode that we ended up losing. I forgot to pantomime swimming and testing that for sure. Happens. Okay, so the thought process once again about doing the Brotherhood was that I... Did a car just fall? Thought process once again about doing the Brotherhood was that I... Did a car just fall? Out there? I, th I thought I just saw a car fall. I don't know. Maybe something exploded? <laughs> anyway, um... What I, uh... I'm, it's making me think of mammoths flying in Skyrim. Uh, the idea of going with the Brotherhood was because if we could get their laser rifle that they provide us, we could turn that into a pistol and have a very good pistol based upon critical damage, and then we can also take advantage, you know, like... of little upgrades and stuff. Why is there a frag mine there? I'm glad I did that. Ah, oh, okay. All right, I remember where we are. Okay. So that's, uh, there's actually, there is actually a settlement 
right over there. Perhaps we should actually go and make friends with that settlement. Because of... I'm in caution. That's why I'm in caution. It's a ghoul. Come on. There we go. Uh, I think that makes sense. If we were to go to that settlement, we can go ahead and start saying hi, you know, make some friends. Potentially, if we can even connect the settlement to Sanctuary or something, we can start putting our stuff in so that we can, you know, share uh, certain resources between the two. Also, I've heard this place is pretty cool, and I've never gone inside of it. So, maybe at one point we'll go into the Beantown Brewery. But until then, let's hit this settlement real quick. And now we're actually getting pretty close to um, Diamond City that I kind of am like, I don't know if I even want to do the Brotherhood of Steel thing. I just kind of want to like get to Diamond City and be able to sell more things. I won't necessarily be able to sell very much. Where is it? Hi! Oh, shit. You know, this dog, I've actually seen in other playthroughs, and it seems to be territorial. Like, it doesn't care about you if um, you don't attack it. And if you stay away from it, it seems to not very care. See? It's just kind of leaving me alone. I mean, I think we could fight it just fine, to be honest. I think we have enough strength to survive that. Glowing Rad Roach. I was looking for a legendary, if that would have been pretty sick. I believe we have enough strength to fight this alpha wild mongrel, but I mean, it's not gonna, it's not a legendary creature. It's not gonna give us anything necessarily. And uh, we can, here we go. This is what I was looking for anyway, the Overland Station. We go we're chat with these guys. The hey. Hey there. We could really use your help. Glad I'd to help. Glad to help. There I've, I've actually never seen this particular mission. The old workshop there is still in one piece. Anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. No sure. problem. I'll take care of You have things. no idea who I am, though. You just so. randomly give we me this what to do. crazy option. Wait. Literally at Sunshine Tidings? Oh, no. Wait. What? Sunshine... Oh, Sunshine Tidings! That's, um... Yeah, that's the one with the robot that's really cool. Yeah, Mr. Goodfeels. Okay. Okay, I can... Gotcha. That's interesting. I actually, last time I uh, did a mission like this, uh, they sent me to a spot nearby here. Well, maybe I can save here real quick. <sighs> Up the last stairs. Oh, no, I can't save here. I can't save in either. Shoot. That's not very good. That alpha wild mongrel is still hanging out there. Yeah, it just, he doesn't seem to care about you. Okay, so we're really close to Diamond City, but we have a for sure save right here. I feel like we should take the absolute for sure save. That's the right thing to do. We can, we're heading in this direction kind of anyway. We have a box full of stuff we needed to collect on top of that. I like this decision. And hopefully we just won't run into anything too spooky on the way there and we will be good. Oh man, I'm excited. I get to swim across the river without taking crazy radiation damage. This is wild to see it happen like this. I mean, on the flip side, if the perk was working that we had originally, we would be swimming through there and just getting a big old jump of healing while our radiation was going up. In fact, I had, uh, someone had recently tweeted me a mod that had uh, the character where it's whenever you have radiation, you slowly regenerate health and it like removes the radiation at the same time. I thought that was actually a pretty cool uh, way to do that perk where you were able to clear out your radiation and turn it into health. But in one way, it is kind of OP. But in another way, that is like the coolest way for that perk to really work. All right, here we go. We got our stuff. Let's go ahead and put some things in here. So we don't actually have any reason really to uh, <laughs> switch any of these things out. They're pretty much the best that we have available. I am going to put all my junk in here though because we have so much of it. And I mean, we're going to, we might not come back here directly, but I don't see any reason why we necessarily skip over this too much. Hey, what's up dudes? I'm, uh, oh, I thought this was a minigun for a moment. I was just jaw gape, but no, that's... Here we go. Quick, uh, we'll take the three hours sleep. I think that makes sense. I do awake still tired, however, but uh, I can take some stim packs, Sorry which is about pretty the other cool. guys. Thanks, Halen. Uh, where did Paladin go? Hey, Paladin. Dance. You ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind. Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? Paladin dances waiting for you. I can kill you. Not yet, but one day. <laughs> so Paladin Dance will be handling this uh, 
set of fights pretty easily. I don't have to worry about it too much. Um, assuming he doesn't get his pathing path stuck in a circle. We'll take this alley. <laughs> He's like a dog who has to pee. He just spins a couple times. Uh, he might have seen like a something though. There we go. Mine is somewhere here. Oh, it's in the crook. Got it. Ooh, another one. Let's get that. I don't see any more. Where'd Paladin go? There he is. So he's gonna give us the sweet gun once we complete this mission. We have access to. I know. We should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. <laughs> so I'm entertained by running in front of him and watching him run by. Not 100% sure what makes it so funny to me. Dirty Postman hat. What does that give us? Endurance 1. Ooh, a lot of 10 millimeters here. That's pretty nice. Ooh, 40. Wow. I know you're talking, dude, and but we've actually heard you talk a lot, and there's so much cool stuff here. They had economy wonder glue. Holy shit! Run! Wow. We got close on that one. We got very close on that one. Ah, oh, purified water just to finish us up and uh, get the rest of that healing going. Oh, we're still thirsty. There we go. Full health now for sure. Whew. So, Dance, uh, have I shown you to be the best damn soldier? Birds! Best damn soldier you've ever seen. Oh, that's right. They have... Oh, goodness. Goodness. Goody, goody, good. Hold on. They have, they have this right here. Oh, one day. One day we'll see that. So, all these people, I'm guessing they tried to get in here, but it just, they weren't able to get in these in time. This person clearly did. I mean, we've seen that none of the Pulaski centers actually protected them from the radiation explosions, but uh, it is interesting to kind of like see if these people would just try to get in or not. Oh, here we go. Some stuff up here. Casual outfit and some bobby pins. I wonder who's packing one casual outfit and two bobby pins. I mean, I get that you may be in a rush. Paladin dance. Keep checking your six for hostiles. I keep checking my six for bobby pins. So I get that if you were in a rush, you don't exactly want to. Ooh, don't exactly want to. And this guy has Molotov and grenades and stuff on his truck as the bomb went off. Just an odd selection of things. But yeah, like, why would you pack that? I mean, maybe that person was just traveling. Uh, Raider scum. All right, here, let me help, let me help. I want to be involved. I want to be involved and shoot things too. But um, I guess that that person was just traveling. They weren't necessarily escaping the bomb's blast. But then, it, you know, what's the, why did they pack that? Like, it's another weird situation again. Oh, sorry, I'm not really listening, <laughs> but I am listening to this guy too. Oh, that second team is actually a mission you can do. Um, I haven't ever done that mission. Ooh, a pompadour wig. That might be a more fun thing to get because that actually ups your charisma. But uh, instead of the hat. See, if we grab the, uh, not the sea captains, the militia hat, 0 0.5, 0 0.2. It actually weighs a little less. That's pretty useful. Yeah, you know what? Uh, let's just uh, drop the hat. There you go. Uh, it's like a leave a penny, take a penny. I take something cooler and I left a hat for those people who want to sun their eyes. Which I liked how in Fallout New Vegas, hats increase perception. That makes perfect sense that a hat would increase perception. It's It blocks the sun, you know? Like, of course it does. Charisma is a little bit of a, a weird one. No way oh, I could man. pick this. You can find the key to all these trucks. They, it exists somewhere. And it's like, uh, actually, I know where it exists. I saw it the other day. It, uh, it exists up, once you leave um, the Abernathy farm, like this spot up here that that's the shipping company that's all these trucks. So once you get that key, trucks throughout the wasteland, you're just able to open up. It's being shot at? Oh, some some bloat flies. I don't really need any bloat flies goop right now. Let's carry on, dance, dance. Shoot the dogs. All right. Yes. I don't really, oh, that's an alpha. Dan, 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 don't, don't pay attention to the alpha, Dan. Whew. That was scary. That was a little, a little bit too much of a, uh, bit of more than I could chew. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It's a mongrel, and so I can make a dog biting joke. <sighs> All right, so we're almost up to Arcjet now. 
this part right here has got to be my favorite little bit of arc jet. I just like to see this aircraft. I think it's it looks really interesting to me. It's the under like the, the wing lifts right here, which you know helps support the wing. They uh, I don't get why it has this weird double shape though, because when this is getting lift right, this wing is actually uh, let's see, I'm thinking about it. so they have winglets because that makes them more efficient. I mean, they're cutting through different bits of air, but a lot of times when an airplane's flying, when the air leaves the plane here, the the wind isn't as beneficial. It's been messed up. And it's the reason why is because it's, you know, you have the lower pressure uh, air on um, the top meeting the higher pressure air below it. Or excuse me. Yeah, that's right. Higher pressure air below it. So that it ends up creating that upward push that creates the lift. And so a lot of times when you have something right behind it, the air isn't nearly as good because it's all turbulent. And when I say good, I mean it's like it's not going to provide as quality of lift. So I'm trying to think of like having the wing underneath it, what that helps with. There we go, arc jet. Looks real. I think, right, I love the designs of some of these places. Like someone had to come up with logos and make them look legitimate. And it's just good on you person who came up with logos. Good on you. Hey, dance. I, uh... For some reason, I thought the entrance was on the other side. I'm now stuck. Dance, hold on, dance. I'm not an idiot, I swear. A little park bench for you to come out and eat your lunch at Arcjet Systems. Systems. System. That's kind of cool. I'm going to find a save. All right, dudes. I'm actually going to go off and looking for a save real quick. I'll jump to you if anything interesting happens. But if not, um, you'll just all of a sudden see me out of bed. And then I'll do my outro. Oh, interesting thing. Remember how there's a rocket in here? Check it. It's designed so the rocket can actually lift out. That's that's really cool. Or maybe they lower the rocket in, actually, because they have that crane there. But that crane does not look like it could handle a rocket. Wait. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, shit! I see a fusion core, and then a blood bug came out, and then it exploded. Well, I'm just hoping there's going to be a bed in here. Well, the gate's free to open. We got the fusion core, no problem. I feel like I hear some more sting wings. I don't see more sting wings. See the sting wing. See the sting wing. You know, that was a lot of experience for not a very dangerous creature. Oh, sweet attractor. Oh my god. Where was that mine? How did it do so little damage to me? Maybe it was... Oh, it might have been on the outside of the wall. And maybe the game just like... Nah, that seems a weird spot to put it. Anyway, we got a fusion core from that. Checking this bus for a bed. So far, we found a raider in it, though, which is cool. But interesting note. There's a behemoth that lives there. Uh, at the uh, the Carmageddon. Or Carmageddon. I don't know what to call that exactly. Um, Carhenge. Carhenge. Carhenge? A behemoth lives there. We are not going near that. I don't want to fight a behemoth when I'm trying to find a save right now. One good place to find saves is sometimes just under bridges like this, highway overpasses. There are people who are sleeping in, like, sleeping bags. I mean, it makes sense. It's a place to stay dry, but you can sometimes find these sleeping bags uh, located just under these bridges. So it's, it's worth trying to follow along them sometimes if you're uh, like me. And you're dying to find a save. Uh, there's actually an up here. I don't really want to take it because I'm worried that there'll be gunners or something. And I'll have to fight through them. Well, actually, there's going to be gunners somewhere. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of... Oh, I've never seen a group of them like that before. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Well, I hap it looks like there's probably gunners here. I, I, yeah, definitely. Gunner is here. Um, so they, they're going to be a, there's going to be a bed. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, there is actually beds right there. I recall this location. I don't really want to deal with this. This is a bit of a problem. All right, well, let's, let's do a quick search around for the bed. And then I think I'm going to, yeah, okay. I'm going to just run to that spot where I do know there are sleeping bags. Because I have, in fact, been here before. I was playing my personal playthrough, and uh, there was a, a bed that was right over here, and I was trying to get Piper to join me walking across this highway, and she kept falling right there. And you know how on survival mode, they uh, the, your followers will leave you if you don't give them a stim pack. 
regardless if they're an idiot and drop through there and now require you to walk all the way back around because you can't afford to jump off. So, ugh. Anyway, this headless guy is now where we're gonna sleep because clearly this is the safe place. Oh, there are enemies? Uh-oh. Enemies are nearby, can't sleep. All right, you know what? Hanging out, oh, they're above us. It's uh, there's more gunners right above us. I can't sleep when they're nearby, even if they're not knowing I'm here. Shoot. Okay. Well, hopefully this doesn't suck. This feels like it could suck. I'm just trying to take a nap. I'm a little on the lost side here. Okay. Oh, God. All right, it's, oh shit. Whoa. You know, you should be called a sticker. <laughs> Get it? Cause he's holding a stick. All right, there's our other gunner. All right, we got two. How many gunners are there? Do you guys have a dog even? I hope not. Please don't also have a dog. All right, we got those two. All right, they, they have a turret too. Yep, I heard it earlier. There it is. All right, well, since it's kind of still, I feel comfortable doing this. Oh God! Seriously? Ser- Oh God! God damn it! Seriously? <laughs> Why are there so many of them going after me? <laughs> I'm just trying to save! I don't know what this is. That iBot isn't angry. However, there isn't a bed in here, so I'm just gonna back off and hope that these gunners go away and let me sleep underneath their bridge. I see them on the bridge right now. There's both of them. Oh, they both- oh, shoot. Oh. Hi, iBot. No, just- just don't follow me, okay? Oh, god! Stingwing! But- uh-oh, 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 heals just immediately takes the heals. Holy shit. Please don't die. Oh god! Alright, we need to immediately heal again. Holy shit, I'm gonna die from this! I have an idea. We're gonna take some medics, and hopefully that's gonna give us just enough protection that we're not gonna die. You ready? Here we go! Yes! That was enough! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, this game's a little... F I'm just trying to find a freaking save. Okay, game? That's insane. Just... Absolutely. Th th these guys don't have a save. Whew. Home sweet home. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, our health was minuscule. I had to take morphine just to keep myself dying from that. Oh, oh, finally. God damn it. Okay, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. That was really close. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the button down beneath me, and of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet, the wind always be at your back, and may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. I almost said swarmly. See ya. Bye.